so please. welcome to the River Gambia National Chimpanzee Rehabilitation Project. I am Masane Balde. Oh, okay. To the River Gambia National Park Chimpanzee Rehabilitation Project. It's a project which started in 1979 by two ladies, Janice Carter and Stella Rua Masden. Stella is from UK and the Janice is from America. So they are the two ladies who reintroduced chimpanzees back in the Gambia. Though there was chimpanzees here before, but people were hunting them. So they all disappeared. In 1979, they were reintroduced by these two ladies. So we have a total of 142 chimpanzees living within the three islands. So the whole park is 585 hectares with six islands, but only three islands are rehabilitated with chimpanzees. So we have a total of 142 chimpanzees. There are other primates that are living with them, like the green monkeys, red colobus, and the guinea baboons. So they all compete for food with the chimpanzees in the island. So we give supplement foods every day to the chimpanzees because we feel that there are high competition for food with the other primates. So we give supplement food every day to the chimpanzees. And as you see them, they are free in the islands. So nobody is allowed to go into the island. So we would also like to monitor them. So feeding them also gives us more chance to see them. That's the time we collect our data information. Anything happened to a chimps is during feeding time because we don't go into the island. We also throw the food to them. They know the feeding time. So when that time arises, they will come out. When they had the boat, then we will throw the food to them. So that's how we also monitor them. And they are all giving names. That is for easy identification during feeding time. So when they are also sick, we also try to medicate by using antibiotic medicine. Because we will not know exactly the sickness. So that's why we are using the antibiotic medicine. So, here. Do you get contact with them? No, we don't get contact with How them. do you give them the medicine? The medicine is put in the bread. We yeah. open bread and put the medicine in. We put add honey or groundnut paste in the bread so that we not feel the taste of the medicine, then we throw it. How will you know if a particular chimbal can be set? We know them, they are all giving names. And we know how they behave during feeding time. So when we are feeding, that's the time we observe. So when they change, we know that there is something happening. Then we try to medicate. But if you give them medicine, do you make sure that they take the medicine before you go? Over? Yes, that's what we, we make sure that they take the medicine and we see them eating. Before we give them another food, they will allow them to take the medicine and eat the whole bread. What else do you feed them with? Fruits, bananas, orange, groundnuts, yeah, mostly fruits. Only bread that is included in their diet, which is not natural food. Why? Because we, we also want them to learn how to get uh, wild fruits in the island. Mm -hmm. So that's why the food that we are giving them is all natural food. Only the bread. The bread is help us so that we can medicate them. That's why we include the bread in there. How many times do they eat? Once a day. It's a supplement food. Oh, yeah. They are having food in the island. Yeah. Yeah. But food, the food that helps us to monitor them okay. during feeding time. Okay. You talked about that. You said three islands. Yes. Can you make us understand that? Because I don't get it. We have six islands all together. The whole park is 585 hectares. Mm -hmm. We have six islands in it. But only the three islands are having chimpanzees. The other three islands, there are no chimpanzees. Do you name the island? We name them by numbers, island one, island two, and island three. This is island one. It's seven and a half kilometers. Why is this located mm -hmm. right here? It's seven and a half kilometers. Is it well, within wow. Kutawuro? Yeah, it's between Nyani and Nyamina. Nyamina. It's the border between Nyani and Nyamina. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. You were saying that two ladies introduced this uh, chimpanzees here. Wait, did, did, did they bring the chimpanzees and put them there or they found them there and tried to... Yeah, the chimpanzees are brought. Mm -hmm. Yes. They were, there was no chimpanzees for the first time in this island. So in 1979, these two ladies from Nyokolokoba, that's where the project started. I think you heard about Gua, who's the founder of Abu. So he is the father of Stella. 
So they were in Nyokolokoba. Mm -hmm. So they bring these chimpanzees in. Okay. But they also, when they were coming, they don't just come and drop the chimps into the island. Mm -hmm. They were living with the chimpanzees. Mm -hmm. For the first time, they were with them into the island. Okay. For almost two years, that wow. is training the chimps how to protect themselves and uh, where to go and what to eat. Because some of the chimps were confiscated at home like pets. So wow. they don't know nature much. Mm -hmm. So they have to stay with them in the islands going out with mm -hmm. them to train them for mm -hmm. almost two years. Then they later decided to go out from the island and uh, allow so the island to... All these different things are generated from one... They, they all have the same kind of things, right? No, different parents. Because the chimps that are released come from different backgrounds. Oh, okay. Some of them from Tanzania, Congo, Senegal, even up to Europe, some of them mm. were in zoos. Mm. So they were oh, the the sent to the project. You guys don't take care of the hippos? For the hippos, we met them here <laughs> by the river, Gambia. So you don't for, give them food? For, no, we don't give them food. They, they eat only the grass. Research. They only eat grass. They eat grass and leaves, so only there only are enough grass. They, they get sick. You don't, you, you, you don't post it on hippos, only the chimpanzees. Right? Only the chimpanzees. Okay, aside from hippos and chimpanzees, what other what animals uh, are found in this island? Um, or maybe we have other like the leopards. We have warthogs. and Inside here? Yes. Crocodiles? Yes, crocodiles are also here. Here? Yeah, yes, in the river. Like here, here. Yes, maybe it is passing. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and how many types of? But for them here, yeah, they are yeah. not much dangerous yeah. because they are having enough food. Yeah, the crocodiles they are having they enough food. Care about yeah. human flesh. Yes, they have fish, bats, and That's other to, small monkeys. So how many types eating. of chimpanzees do we have here? Huh? How many types of? Babu we have do? the Western, West African chimpanzees. We have here in the Gambia. Okay, so do you normally have visitors who come on a tour and then? Uh, yes, we normally what kind have of just like have? Um, the tourists, especially around December, January, February. Oh, too busy here. Mm -hmm. yes. You come and uh, visit come and watch. Okay, thank you. Island one. This is island one. So island two is. Island two down. is next to our main camp, and this is island three. But uh, okay. here is the visiting area. The okay. other area is not allowed for any other boat. Do you it's know why? Journey. Is it wild there? No, it's not wild. It's for the staffs only. Okay. And for the teams also, they need to, if they want to relax, yeah, they the also can go on that side and stay peacefully. Okay. Because sometimes here yeah, will be too busy. Mm -hmm. yeah.